Hey everybody, welcome to The Cutting Edge. I am Buck Wild. Tuesday, November 8th is the big day, folks. Make sure you know where your polling place is located and show up to vote en masse. If the Democrat Party is not dislodged from the halls of power in this country, they will tighten their grip on our throats and choke off what's left of our democratic process. As always, do your own research and come to your own conclusions. Now let's get to the news. From USA Today, of all places, a pharmaceutical company is recalling a blood pressure medication because it may cause cancer. Didn't Joe Biden say he was going to cure cancer if he was elected? I'm sure that somebody somewhere insisted that this medication was safe and effective. But here we are. Question everything, folks. From the Gateway Pundit, PayPal has reinstated its policy to fine users $2,500 directly from their accounts if they spread misinformation. If PayPal doesn't like something you said, they'll fine you $2,500 for each instance. Ditch your PayPal accounts, folks. Let's hope that uh, maybe Elon Musk can buy PayPal next and clean house over there. Again, from the Daily, uh, the Gateway Pundit, excuse me. The Democrat Party is running a nominee for state representative who was once arrested for planning to carry out a school shooting and charged with a threat of terrorism. He also shared child pornography slash photos of his then 13-year-old girlfriend in a case of revenge porn. This is what passes for an acceptable candidate in the Democrat Party. But God forbid that a Republican with this kind of history wanted to run for anything. It would be all they talk about 24-7. Again, from the Gateway Pundit, in Florida, a Democrat, yes, a Democrat, has come out publicly to blow the whistle on ballot harvesting in her community. This poor woman will likely be ostracized by the left for going rogue and not towing the party line. We were told that the 2020 election was the most secure in history. Keep in mind that most of the people saying that were the folks that won their races in 2020. I encourage you to read this article, folks. Very informative. And lastly, talk about election deniers. Yes, failed presidential candidate Hillary Clinton, who denied that Trump was a legitimate president, is now saying that far-right extremists already have a plan to steal the 2024 presidential election. Recall also that Stacey Abrams has yet to come out and acknowledge that she lost the 2018 governor's election in Georgia. When people on the right question an election result, they're described as a threat to our democracy. And I've always wondered exactly whose democracy are they talking about? Apparently, it's perfectly acceptable for people on the left to question the legitimacy of anything that they want. But not if you're a Republican, not if you're on the right. Rules for thee, not for me, ought to be the slogan of the Democrat Party. Well, folks, we're finally wrapping up the book of James in my church. It's highly recommended. It's not a long book to read, and there's a lot of great wisdom in that book. Um, there's also some great books, some smaller books of the minor prophets, Habakkuk, Micah, Nahum, and then, of course, the book of Revelation. Currently, I'm listening to a series from Joel Richardson on YouTube. He's covering the visions of the prophet Daniel. Joel has a fantastic grasp of Bible prophecy and a great way of relating it to viewers. Get out to vote, read your Bible, get to church, and don't forget to pray. James 5.16 says, The fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. I may not be righteous, folks, but I'll tell you what, I've been praying my butt off and I have seen some things change. A couple of other passages are Luke 11, verses 5 to 8, which talks about uh, a man going to his neighbor in the middle of the night asking for food for a guest. I encourage you to read that. And then another one, which is really great, is Luke 18, verses 1 to 8, talking about the widow who goes to the corrupt judge demanding justice. That's my two cents for now, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week.